Hi, we're at uh, Electronica 2018, it's day two, and I'm here with Dave Richkiss from Microchip, and you've got new Sam R34. That's right. Product that you've just literally brought to market. Can you yes. tell me a bit about this, which you're holding here? Yeah, yeah, so uh, this is a development board for it, yeah. but the, the R34 is uh, the lowest power LoRa SIP in the market today. The SIP's a system and package. Yeah. So uh, basically we've taken one of our leading microcontrollers, our Sam L21, with extremely low power performance. And we've uh, stacked on top of that the lower radio and put it in a nice little package, a 64 BGA 6x6 millimeter package. Right, so it's tiny. How long has it taken to achieve that? Pardon me? How long has it taken to achieve this? You know, bring this oh, it takes, uh, it's taken uh, a little over a year, year and a half uh, yeah. time to develop. Yeah. yeah. And uh, our team of expert engineers has tuned the solution to where it's completely FCC certified and European certified and, uh, on, on the dev board. So we provide yeah. the customers a complete solution to uh, get to market themselves so they right. can design their own solution yeah. that passes regulatory requirements. And that it, it, they can take that literally from your website and they can start developing straight away? Right? Yeah, they can download it today. Yeah. Uh, Schematic, Bomb, and Gerbers are all available and they can uh, connect up to the LoRa network. Um, they can uh, you know, basically start with this development board and plug it into a PC, open Atmel Studio, our integrated development environment. Yeah. Uh, the part shows up as a SAM R34. Right. They download the LoRa code, then they can put their own application code on top of that in C or C++, yeah. or download demos and compile them right into the part. Yeah. Another cool thing about the part that I didn't mention is it's this same piece of hardware and our microchip LoRaWAN stack, our software, supports multi-region channelization. Uh, okay. So, so the engineer can compile their product for the U.S., for North America, compile it for Europe, India, Korea, or any of the AS923 um, Asia countries, and just ship their product off just yeah. from one piece of hardware. So the convenience that is huge, isn't it? Because yeah, you know, indeed, you, it, multiple markets, you can do it all from one. Piece hardware, like you say. That's right. Or if you, you know, you're not having to adopt different practices of different markets. So. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's come from listening to, you know, what people want, demand, and you, you know, you've right. come up with this. But also the the convenience seems, you know, the best thing about it because if you make people's lives easier <laughs> in right. whatever way. It's a success right, right away. Isn't and, it? and you know, in Laura, Laura is is very much about making people's yeah. lives easier in this you know IoT sort of application space. You don't want to be changing batteries all the time. No. So this product uh, will sleep at around 790 nanoamps. Oh, Anything right. below a microamp is impressive. Yeah. This is 790 yeah. nanoamps. So that's several years on a AAA battery, on yeah. a 1200 milliamp yeah. hour battery. So it can just sit there and do its sensing, wake up occasionally, and send its data as necessary. Yeah. Which uh, applications are huge now, aren't they? You know, every, there's no such thing as simple design anymore. Is it? Everything is every smart, connected, whatever way. It's, yeah. it's these kind of things that facilitate that right. to be done in easier, and, more economical ways. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, indeed. Um, and there's different modes of operation too. Right. So you don't have to have the device on all the time. Uh, it can be just uh, monitoring a, an alarmed window, you know, it can be an alarm yeah. sensor, where it never has to turn on at all, and it, the battery lasts several years in that situation. Or it could be in a streetlight application, where you're receiving, you're on all the time, you're receiving, waiting to receive information. And so you could think of this as uh, you have a dim, dimmed light area, so you respect the black sky ordinances, you can see the stars and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's perhaps police activity in an area. So the police can dispatch and turn that section, that particular set yes. of lights, full bright all of a yeah. sudden. And so you want uh, a, a high responsiveness, and so you know, keeping it and receive all the time. That's called Class C mode. Right. We support both of those, cl both of those classes. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, that extension board as well, you've got lots of different ones. You've yeah, about. yeah, yeah. So this is our X Pro board, and yeah. this is part of the FCC certified, European Red yeah. certified uh, reference design. And this is where we provide the customers the schematic bomb and Gerber's based yeah. on this. But around this X-Pro board, there's a whole ecosystem, a uh, microchip ecosystem yeah. actually, where these extension boards can be plugged in. This particular one is a temperature sensor with an SDIO card. Right. 
and there's also uh, boards supporting um, Wi-Fi, supporting Zigbee, and various other things yeah. that can just plug right into this yeah. board. So you can create basically a mock-up of a sensor, right. all with just Fantastic. microchip dev boards. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Um, are you getting a lot of interest at the show? It's a busy show. Uh, significant amount of interest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we had a significant amount of interest even before we launched. We had some early adopters. Yeah and uh, orders are already on the books for this, this part. It's, it's in high demand. I mean, there's quite a development community around this, isn't there? You know, it's well, yeah, it's, it's an ARM development community, right? It's a Cortex-M0 based solution with 256K of flash, 40K of RAM. So developers can just put their code yeah. right on this single device yeah. and it uh, becomes a single chip solution for a sensor, plus a sensor, right? Yeah. For a sensor solution. So you don't have to have a separate micro even. So there's good support for it. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, your product is on market now. People, how do people get yep. into this? Yeah, available today. Uh, there's chips, uh, development boards in stock today. Just go to microchip.com to find out more. Fantastic. Well, I hope the show continues to be successful for you. Uh, right. It seems very busy, so um, yeah. best of luck with that. And thanks for talking to us. All right, thank fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you. Cheers.